YouTube, it's Brian Phillips and Megan. Yep. And we're gonna do this Jimny. It's gonna be awesome. And yes, the sun is going down, so we're feeling the pressure. We are. To get this thing done. We've got the lights on, and we're gonna just start doing some driving. We're gonna drive down to our new little area for off-roads. You need to switch the gear. Show the people what you just did. So I switched channel three forward. Okay, floor it. Whoa. Yes, yeah, so much cool. better. Now you can also switch the lights. Show them that. What is the light switch light condition? This one. Press it. Okay, press it again. Press it again. So Ooh, cool. Ooh, I like that one. Put them all on so we can see as best as possible. Oh, and then the turn signals work. Yep, turn signals. So cool. So this is modeled after the Jimny, and it is extremely extremely detailed this is 1 12th scale 1 12th scale and it's got an actual mechanical uh high low transmission and it is definitely beautiful we've got front facing lights turn signals four ways could you turn them all on can you see Are they there you on? go drive okay. so basically you've got all the different lighting configurations all the doors open there's literally an air handler that comes out and the air handler holds down. Hey, stop there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive down this wall. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna try taking it down into our new little ditch area. We've been doing some work on this. I do notice that it takes a second for the reverse to kick in on this. So I think I wanna probably put it in low gear here because I'm not sure if it's gonna make it through that tall grass. In this scale, it might be a little bit too much. Now listen, there's actually a click. I don't know if you guys could hear over the crickets. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna see if I can push through here. Now this is, it is a plastic body, but it sure looks like it's metal. When you're touching it, it's heavy duty, but it's definitely plastic. Okay, so I got stuck there. Uh-oh, did I actually high center already? Yeah, that's a big rock right there. Okay, I wanna see if I can get out. That looks so sweet. So it's got lock, the locking diff is always in, it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna have to, the hand of God. One of our subscribers reminded me, I had actually never heard of that and I used to do cars like this all the time when I was a kid. Okay, so I'm gonna back up here. We'll see if we can get out of this mess. Oh yes, and by the way, this has on-road tires on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually kind of surprised how well it's doing. This is some tall grass and stuff. So I just wanted to see if it would do the off-road thing. Um, obviously, it's got squishy tires, which are amazing. They're a Dunlop branded. And I'm going to see if I can go down into the ditch. This is so cool, guys. If it makes it, I'm going to be super thrilled. Oh, no, another high center moment. Oh, man, those rocks. See, it's digging a hole now. So this thing definitely high centers because it's, a, it's an on-road. It's such a detailed model that it's actually very realistic and there's a lot of pans. And I am in low gear. Literally, I'm giving it 25% throttle. This is a full throttle in the low gear. Let's see if we can get out the side here. Oh man, it is so realistic looking. Okay, now I'm gonna go into high gear and we'll just show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna switch. Now, I'll be quiet when I do it. You can hear it mm -hmm. actually change into a different gear. So as you can see, you may need to get a little speed to get out of holes and stuff like that. But as you can see, we also have quite a bit of rocks and things like this that we're gonna have to figure out. But this whole little area we've got is definitely gonna give us some places to play with these little rock crawlers. You can go super slow with this thing. Runs on a three, was it 380 milliamp hour, mm -hmm. 2S? 2S. We did not even charge it all the way just because we wanted to make sure that we got it running before the sun went totally down. But part of the reason we have this ditch like this is because we didn't have drainage here and so it turned into a big puddle, which means it turned into thousands upon thousands of mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So we basically dug this little ditch in an attempt to get it to drain. And I think we succeeded. Okay, now I'm gonna go into high speed. 
Yes. Yep. Okay, let's do some high speed. It definitely high center, super easy. But I mean, this thing is like super detailed. I'm sort of feel bad like driving this off road because it definitely has on-road tires on it. I wonder if we're just sort of misreading this. It is a crawler, right? I believe it is. Because I feel like it's high centered more than anything else we've gotten recently. Mm -hmm. But it is so detailed. Show them the bottom of this thing. Oh, we have a stick in there. No wonder. Look how realistic that is. And then watch this. Channel three. You see that little switch there? It's actually changing to a different transmission setting. It goes forward or reverse, but it takes a while for it to go into reverse. See, there it goes. Just love the way this thing looks. It is absolutely gorgeous. All the doors open, the seats fold. You can put the seats down in the back. Obviously the hood opens, let's show them inside of there. The battery is actually, if you can help me with that, that'd be great if you have a free hand. It's right here. There it goes. So there's the air handler and that thing comes straight out and then the lipo sits right under it. Mm -hmm. Super cool. And they use wire looms to protect all the wiring. And so it just looks super, super realistic. And I am, a, I am such a sucker for scale vehicles. I didn't even know I liked this car until I got it because it's just absolutely gorgeous. There is a clip on the hood too, uh, which is super nice, very bright. Mm -hmm. Now you can also run a low beam simulation as well. So it's definitely gonna be a great car, um, but it's definitely not gonna crawl the same as some of our other crawlers that we've done. So what I wanna do is I wanna put it up, up on the edge and let's see what it looks like on the asphalt. You can see right where you okay. are there. Okay, so we're just gonna go real slow and try not to high center because this is actually like legit off-road area here. Now we're on a real road. Okay, so we're in the uh, high speed, I think. There's low mm -hmm. speed. And just switching between the two, you can see a drastic difference in gear ratio. I mean, just huge difference. So going off on the shoulder, you can really get a feel for how sweet that stuff all works in the suspension. But look how easily it gets high centered. So that is definitely something to consider when you put this up against other choices that would be in the same size class. Because this is what, a 112? Mm -hmm. So if you're getting a 112, you have to keep in mind, if you've built yourself a rock crawling wall, you're not gonna be able to crawl a very aggressive rock crawling wall. So if you've got three or four inch stones on there, it's gonna be way too big. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could barely get over pebbles with this, but that doesn't take anything away from this vehicle, in my opinion, because look how big these stones are. These are real gravel pieces from Gravel Road. Okay, so when you get gravel pieces like that, you're gonna tend to have problems. So just be aware, whenever you get a crawler, you have to kind of think about the size scale. And I think that this one is fine, but you're gonna have a hard time getting through tall grass and you're gonna have a hard time getting through loose stones. So if we had a concreted board that had a bunch of rocks on it, I think that that would take care of it and it'd be allowed to go up because I believe this will go fast uh, fast enough to be fun, and it will definitely make it over some big bumps. But the loose stuff is what's going to get you killed because mm -hmm. it's going to flip over a loose rock and it's going to get you stuck. And by the way, I think you have to double reverse on this one. Yeah, you got to double mm. reverse. See, watch. Reverse, it doesn't go. You have to double, double. So forward, second time it gets it every time. I haven't experienced that, but it's been so long since we had one of these more advanced. And this is a ready to run, so mm -hmm. make no mistake. Amazing little car, has all the trims, all the lights, everything comes stock. You can obviously change things around. They give you a diagram for all that stuff. Let's go a little further down and see if we can maybe get down in the ditch on another spot. Let's see how it goes downhill at least. See, this is all loose right here, so I, I kind of want to try the grass, but then I'm afraid I'm going to get caught. See that dry stuff up there? And by the mm -hmm. way, if you don't know how to trim, there's a trim for steering here. That's steering dual rates, and then this is steering trim. So I'm going to just turn the knob. Ooh, it goes way that way. It's kind of backward, weird trim. See that? See, there it goes to the right. Going pretty good now. 
So when I turn right, it goes right. When I turn left, it goes left. Go nice and straight. Okay, so let's bring it back and see if we can get a low shot next to the painted line. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Oh no, he's veered off the road. <laughs> it's suicide mission. Yes. Oh, and you still managed to I high center. Made it. <laughs> Jimny, you're such a bad driver. Come on now. So what we're gonna do is, I can definitely tell you this guys, out of the cars that we've recently reviewed, this one is definitely struggling a lot in the off-road because look how close that clearance is. On a 112 scale to have only about an inch of clearance is not very much. But I love the way it looks and I think it's a fair trade-off as long as you know the environment where you're gonna be driving it. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, I mean, granted these boulders in real life, you know, if you got out of your car and the boulders as big as your body, you're not gonna be able to drive over it. Right. So this stuff's doing pretty good. This is kind of like a loose pack uh, I'm going to have to go up here. You have to really be intelligent about where you're driving or you're going to get stuck. And I'm trying not to go super fast because I feel like that's almost cheating in a crawler. Okay, so I'm going to try going down here. I just knocked over a little sapling. Oh, yeah, we're in the ditch. This would be wet if it was raining right now. This would be kind of like a little river. Look at that tree we just drove by. So cool. Just loving, loving all these ground vehicles. Camera crew, you want to try a little bit? Yeah, let me drive down here where it's a little bit better Remember, for the to dirt. go reverse, you have to kind of double tap. Okay. Okay? So Megan's going to take over for a minute. It's beautiful. It's getting really nice out now that the sun is down. Yeah, finally. It was terrible today. So hot Really today. hot. Okay. Yeah, it's doing a lot better in this kind of just... Smoother gravelly. area. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to really watch out for sticks and stuff. So if you guys are kind of new to the hobby, oh, did okay. you already get stuck? Nope. See that, oh, you high yeah. centered on that rock. Yep. Let's show the people what you're, what you're getting there stuck on. Right, right there. there. Doesn't look like much, but that rock is probably about an inch and a half wide. Good job. So if you have more of kind of maybe a dirt track, yeah. rocks are probably not gonna be. They're not gonna be your friend. No, not on this, but it's doing really great just in the dirt. Now, Megan has been behind the camera for so many years here on Brian Phillips RC. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I made it. Nope, I got over the route. So she's been interacting a little bit more on a few of these ground vehicles because she feels more comfortable driving them uh, as opposed to the aircraft, which, you know, let's be honest, dr driving cars is pretty easy compared to flying airplanes. It is. And if you're not as dedicated as I was when we started, then you're going to have a harder time Ooh, doing this it. This is going to be really bumpy right Just here. Just so you guys can see, we're down in a hole as deep as a vehicle or deeper. What are you doing? You're just going to go fast? Maybe. Put it in low gear. Okay. Let's see if we can make shot. it through this little... Now turn. Go to one side or the other. Kind of keep the edge. That edge will help keep yeah, you... Yeah, that's true. ...away from the low stuff that's soft. I didn't think it was going to make it through that. That is so cool. Okay. Well, that, this is going to be sweet when it's wet because it's going to be muddy. We just did this dirt work, folks, so we're kind of excited to try this too. Mm -hmm. This whole area is kind of a new thing for us here on Brian Phillips RC. Uh, we love our property here that we work off of, and this this is uh, just our newest project. So we wanted to have a low point so it would drain, and uh, instead of having a mosquito breeding ground up here, and so that's what you're seeing right now. This is like what, revision number three of this? Yeah, this has been. Uh-oh, uh-oh, somebody got stuck. Oh man. She's really embedded now. Oh, I got nothing, I got no traction. You dug in totally. I did. Can you rock? No, try rocking. Like back, oh. forth. Oh, you got it. Awesome. I put it in high gear. That's cheating, but I still. Know. I'll let it pass. Okay. So basically what we've been doing here is just making this dirt work so that we have a place to showcase these cars. And Megan has been willing been to be behind the camera for a long time. So it's really, it's a new thing for both of us. Where I prefer uh -oh. to be. Oh Whoa. man. Look at that rock. If you see that in real life, that's when you back up. Yes, turn around, find, don't drown. Yes, find a different path. I prefer to be behind the camera, but the crawlers and stuff have been super fun. This is really loose right here. Um, you can do it. And our kids have been having a blast with it. They've always liked, they always Try enjoy- Try going up that other side. 
Oh, really? Back up. See if it'll back up. Oh, yes, the kids have always enjoyed. The kids enjoyed. have always enjoyed, you know, watching Brian fly. And our oldest is has learned to fly and is pretty good at flying. See, now I'm high-centered. Um, Hand of God. But, and our younger kids have fun watching him. But this is something that we can, can kind do. of all do together. They've been driving nonstop for the last few days. Yeah, about four days. Yep. And they've, it's like every day. They've already day. run down the batteries in one of our transmitters. We figured that out. Wow. Earlier. Oh, you hit that stick. Yep. There was a stick roots. right there, guys. Right Let's there. It's like see. a tree. You're not going to drive through a tree in real life. Nope. So the cars have been super fun just for us as a family. We have always enjoyed doing the aviation stuff, you know, kind of alongside Brian. But this is something that we can actually all actually do, do together. Yeah. Plus the little kids... You know, when you start flying airplanes, if you're flying airplanes at three, you are in the like <laughs> freakishly good yes. um, sector of RC enthusiasts. And it's not to say that it can't be done with like a trainer uh, transmitter setup, but I mean, let's let's be realistic, guys. Cars are not near as hard, and so it's an awesome place to be. And not only that, if you're getting a gift for somebody, yes. you don't want to get them something that's beyond their skill level. I mean, and honestly, this is probably one of the harder cars to drive, which sounds funny. But if you're trying to do what we're doing now, ooh, you got caught. Am I on that route right there in front yeah, of you? Yeah, yeah. Try going into high speed. See if I, it'll go. I am. You're in high speed? Yeah. Do you want the hand of God? Oh, felt like I was so close. Drive drive toward the ditch. I think you'll get it. Just floor it. You're in slow, You're in the low gear, aren't you? Mm -mm. No, I'm in try high. High, Try going into the low gear then. Uh, okay, now now go toward the ditch. All right, hand of God time. Yep. What did you get caught on? Oh, oh whoa, oh, like really you were caught, caught on the suspension. One of these sticks was the culprit. Yeah, it's a root. Okay, you're out now. Do you think, I don't think we can get up the side of this. You want, I don't think you're gonna get up. It's just too, it's too tough. It's too steep. You know what, I wonder if. I was wondering if our battery was low, but I don't so know. We so wanted to, we wanted to kind of integrate this in a way that would not be scary to you guys. It's not like we're getting out of aircraft at all. We don't want you to ever think that because no, that's no. like my first love is, is aviation. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, but the thing is, when it comes to radio-controlled stuff, I played with radio-controlled cars when I was a kid, and I loved it. But that's mostly because I didn't have access to the technology that we have for cars or for, for airplanes. Right. But also the car technology was terrible compared to what it is now. Now. And it was still awesome. What we were playing with then was super fun. So all I can say is if you haven't done anything in RC for a few years, now is the time to give something a shot. And if you're new to the hobby altogether or coming back to the hobby, there is a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. So seriously... You need to be part of this little community we've got started here on Brian Phillips RC. Check out our videos, click the bell for notifications. We're always doing new stuff here, trying to bring you the latest and greatest as best we can. It is hard to keep up, full disclosure. But what we're gonna help you do is, we recognize that not everybody is gonna spend four, five, six, seven thousand dollars on radio controlled stuff in a given month, that would be nuts. But the thing is, we're reviewing so much stuff that we're buying more cars and airplanes than most people will buy in a lifetime and we're doing that in the course of six months to a year mm -hmm. and so what we can help you do here is figure out which one is worth buying and which one is worth not buying yes and there's always reasons for each of these things you guys get to make up your mind we just help bring you the brutal truth about how great or terrible like for instance this car amazing looking i love the fact that it's an actual challenge my kids are going to hate it because they won't be able to drive <laughs> this it. This will be the one that dad drives. Speaking the, of, here, do you want to take, I've driven But a at bit. the end of the yep. day, I want to, I want to play with this because it's going to challenge my skills. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so at the end of the day, that's what I enjoy about this sort of thing. And I can, I can sit here and think about that. Like, oh, I have to turn to avoid that little chunk of grass. Well, our five-year-old is not going to know to avoid the chunk of grass. He doesn't know what high centered means yet. He's just so, gonna run over you in th his that's right. sixth MB scaler. Exactly. <laughs> and so, and just so you guys know, if you wanna see reviews on that, we'll be doing that shortly on the channel. But just keep in mind, look at this, I've got myself stuck. The hand of God mm -hmm. has to come in again. But at the end of the day, we love doing this stuff. We love bringing these cars, trucks, airplanes, 
helicopters. <sighs> if we had a waterway, we'd be doing boats, but we just don't really have a good waterway. We have a creek, but it dries up in the middle of the, the summer, so we can't really get and away with it. Plan-ish. It, yeah, someday. we're gonna eventually put in a yeah. pond, but we just need to like trip and fall over in like another thirty thousand dollars. But yeah. we gotta bury these things first, so I don't die and stuff. Right. <laughs> Flying PPG out of our front yard. Well, anyway, so guys, this is this is the car that we're talking about. This Jimny uh, is absolutely gorgeous. It is definitely a harder to drive than some of the other ones we've done because it will high center. So if you're weighing that as one of your concerns, then maybe you wanna to lean to a different model. FMS has a bunch of really good choices right now. So cool to see all these different choices of lights too. That's one, that's another. Low beams, high beams, four ways and fog lights. And I'll show you from the back. Regular running lamps. Oh, which also, there's a reverse light. Nothing changes there. And then you have a four-way that also activates. So absolutely cool, Very cool and super fun to bring this stuff to you here on Brian Phillips RC. If you want to help support our channel financially, the way you can do it is just buy whatever it is that we're reviewing. You don't have to buy this one if you don't like it. You can buy another one. You can buy another plane. But at the end of the day, the way we've set up our deals with these manufacturers is that we bring you an opportunity to see what it's going to really do in a real environment and not some corporate like, ah, we have 50 of these, we need to sell them like tomorrow. So let's let's say it's the best thing since sliced bread. That's not what we do here on Brian Phillips RC. Um, some of the other guys do that. Uh, but what we do is we review these things in such a way that we're like, hey, in a real world environment, you know, this thing doesn't do good on rocks, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And, it, and it's, I mean, it's got on-road tires for God's sake. I mean, I'm not expecting this thing to be a four wheel crawler. To be honest, it looks more like an on-road car for me. Uh, but you're going to want to get out the soap and water and clean this thing because it is absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. So like I said, what we're trying to do here is help you guys make good decisions with your RC dollars that you do have. Because obviously with gas being $75 a gallon, we're just planning this for next week. So with gas at $75 a gallon, you know, it's going to be, you know, it squeezes the RC budget. Everybody gets that. Uh, hopefully you're watching this in two years and you're like, Brian, whatever, that was two years ago. I hope you're right. We hope. But at this point... We love these things. They're super fun. We're honored to be able to bring this to you in this, um, you know, cool, fun way. Uh, but at the end of the day, we want to bring you guys some value, help you make a good decision between this and that, or between this airplane or that airplane. Um, or maybe you learned something new that you didn't know before. There's a, I mean, we got a wonderful forum here. Um, we, we try our best to answer comments. So if you're new to the channel and you're like, you know what, who is this Brian Phillips guy? Who is Megan? What, what the heck is the significance of that? We're married. She was the camera crew for many, many years. <laughs> and now she's crew. finally, she's finally making an appearance against her will, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. No. So at this point, we're just doing what you guys want to see. And these things are definitely what you want to see because they are super cool. And we hope that you guys are appreciating it. It's not going to replace anything aircraft wise. It's just going to be like an added layer mm -hmm. of the uh, sandwich of Brian Phillips RC here. I know Ooh. that's what I thought too. Okay. That's... So this is super fun. Definitely probably not going to be the best off-road crawler, but we love the way it looks and just squish the tires one more oh, time for them. So cool. Amazing. So good. So with that guys, yes. we're going to sign off. Uh, if you aren't familiar with the way we do our channel, we do our run or our flight first. And then we show an unbox build radio setup. In this case, it's basically an unbox and you charge battery. Mm -hmm. uh, we show that second. So stay tuned for that, but don't forget to click the bell for notifications and definitely buy this thing from the links that you see in the video description below. Also, we have a, a website called Brian Phillips RC. It's exactly the same as www.youtube dot com forward slash brian phillips rc except it's www.brianphillipsrc so check the spelling it's literally in the title there's no y's involved in <laughs> case you're wondering but that being said when you go there you can see all this stuff laid out in such a way that's maybe a little easier to find what you're looking for because we have 16 1700 videos on mm -hmm. youtube right now so we don't expect you guys to know everything we've ever done so it's a good way we to do don't. it know everything we've ever done yeah we've anymore. forgotten about a lot of it so at the end of the day we just love doing this stuff for you and thanks special thanks to the camera crew for getting mm -hmm. in front of the camera finally 
And uh, also I have to apologize. I've, I've been having allergic reactions from all the crap I've been yes. working in. And so I've got uh, a sore throat from all the stuff Dust that's drying me out. Yeah. And if you can't buy this truck or you want to do something else, um, Christmas is coming. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah. Just don't there's not a mom in your life that's forget. telling you that Christmas is coming. Christmas is going to be here before you know it. And by the way, things that are back ordered on Horizon Hobby, it's a safe place to back order. Mm -hmm. yep. They will usually say when they're coming back. They're very accurate on their estimates. Keep in mind the supply chain is terrible right now. So if you want this for your husband or for yourself or for your kids or for your wife or for whoever, it doesn't matter for who, get it ordered soon, hide it in the attic, break it out, play with it, pack it back up like you didn't, clean it good, then order another one because you know you're going to yeah, want it. If you're it. ordering one for your kids, just you order need one time for your husband too. To execute these plans, people. Yes. That's why you come to Brian Phillips RC so we can help you with your next bad idea. You can also support us on Patreon, Patreon PayPal. or through PayPal if you want to do that as well. But just buy the stuff and then you can go play with it. Yeah, yeah. It's and we fun. and we love, I mean, it's cool to get a pat on the back like that. But really, at the end of the day, we want to build clout with the manufacturers too. Mm -hmm. But we answer to you. And one of the things we do is we sit down with these people when we start working with them. We say, hey, what happens when we get a piece of crap? We're going to tell our audience about it. And you're probably not going to sell any of them. So make sure you don't send us garbage. Yeah. And guess what? There's some people that won't work with us because they know, uh-oh, that guy's a little bit too honest. <coughs> That's all I'm going to say. I sneezed, like that, I said. I know. That sore throat is getting to you. It is. Really bad. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And now that I've totally started battles in the RC community, stay tuned for so much more. Okay, guys, a little extra two cents worth. Look how sweet the lights look on the ground. We were just, this is what we do when we're done filming. We go up and down the hill to get back home and we just kind of take a nature walk. We take our little animals, which are radio controlled, and then the real lions. There's one there, there's another lion over there. And uh, we talk about what we missed in the video and how stupid something we said was <laughs> and all these different things and we critique you know, so we can try to get better, but then we look at these things driving back to the house and it's so cool. So we were like, the we gotta show it. But also I wanted to show you one other detail that I forgot to mention. We never actually drove in grass. Let's just show you how terrible it does in grass. Because look at this guys, there's a track from another car right there. It's already stuck. It will sort of get out, but it's not gonna get out very good. You see what I'm talking about? My lawn boy is kind of slacking a little bit. Your I mean, lawn it's boy? Not like perfect over here. No, but I mean, it's but not it's like not super long, but look at either. the tracks from the other thing right there. You can literally see the tracks. Here, put it down so I can see the lights from the front. The so door. cool. So we just couldn't resist. We were driving up here, taking our, our little toy for a drive. Before it's the kids so much it fun us. to do this, guys. And if, if you're in a, a neighborhood where you don't have awesome relationships with like literally hundreds of different <laughs> families because you went through some huge legal battle Together. with your developer <laughs> like we used to, which by the way, we used to always get grief about flying in our neighborhood. Well, first of all, that was right around the time when the drone registry was coming out. So it was kind of like not illegal yet, but it, it slowly did kind of become outlawed. But we had such good relationships awesome with neighbors. our neighbors that we were fortunate to be able to get away with it. So at this point, now we're in a different and better spot. Mm -hmm. And we love it here, but it's also, you know, just totally different. So anyway, I'm starting a new video. Sorry guys, this was supposed to be a short clip. This is what happens when you do videos and your name is Brian Phillips. Those lights are awesome. Gotta be, gotta be so, so cool. cool. All right guys, stay tuned, so much more to come. YouTube, it's Megan Phillips. We are back and we are gonna open a box. We are still continuing on this experiment of me opening things. <laughs> and learning how to drive them. So we're gonna see what we have here. Not sure I even told Brian what this is. It's a surprise for everyone. I know what it is. Oh, you do. Oh, that's no fun. What is Ooh. that? Ooh. Ooh. Super excited about Fantastic. this. Instructions, we'll just set those off to the side. It's, this is. It's the Jimny. The Jimny. The Jimny, it's a Suzuki looking Jimny. Mm -hmm. It's so a 112 scale. From FMS. From FMS. Okay, so we have a nice manual. Yep. We're gonna put that away and never look at it never again. Never look at it again. 
these little crawlers have been super fun Our for a family. Love them kids yes They've literally not stopped playing with them they have not so again nice carrying case this one has a handle so if you want to take it to work with you it has a fold-up handle it has a fold-up handle what yeah that so, would be an awesome cooler <laughs> we should turn this into a cooler okay let's see what's let's on open this. it let's see how it looks all right obviously so we, we have links to buy these things if you want to help support our channel Definitely. oh this one was like way easier to open it too. was so okay, so then that. there's a little actual latch up here. Plastic. Plastic latch on oh, the top. Nice. Yeah, seriously, that is like a cooler and I'm kind of loving, ooh, wow. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That's so cool. Wow. I have nail polish that color. It feels like it's metal, but it's not. I can't tell. Okay, well, hey, metal? transmitter first. We'll save the, save the car oh, for last. That's weird. Look what you I have here. You got anything in your pocket what? over there I might need? Oh, thank awesome. you. Awesome. That, that was the first time in history. In it's history. only taken us 1,500 videos to come up with that. <laughs> to have batteries ready ahead of time. Do you guys see where the sun is? It it's is setting. almost set. It is setting quickly. Oh, no. <clears throat> do you need help? I do. Look at this. See, you'll get it with Here. one hand. Oh, see, you can get it with one hand. Goodness gracious, it's slick. I know. Is there a... Is there a trick? Thing I'm missing? Let me use the battery. No, it's just kind of oh. hard to get out. If you have one that does that, you can use a flat bladed screwdriver to rotate it out. No, not that, that'd be <laughs> dangerous. Okay. Goodness gracious, that is really hard to do. Um. Oh, by the way, while we're at it, mm -hmm. there's some trims. Looks like these are reverses. Throttle reverse. Trims, trim pots for Steering and throttle, which is nice. Oh, oh, it's because oh, it, it, it rotates. That's what I meant by a trick. Okay, so there's right. plus goes here. So we have to put those down in, and then the negative goes to here. So we'll just put the negatives in there since I've already got it. Oh, yeah, so thanks. it just goes out and then rotates. Flips that's up. the first one we've seen like that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, pretty simple stuff. These FMS ready to run models have been super easy. Yeah. They okay, have. you want to take back over? Yes. All right, so let's take this out of here. This is a 1 12th scale. Ooh, that's very and pretty. I love the color. I'm super excited about this. That is really pretty, but there's plastic all over. I know. You got to get the plastic I'm off feel the and move all the stuff off. away. So oh, we got a charger. charger. Oh, wait, we got to get the battery so in charge a, first. Is there a battery? Oh, hold battery on, hold here? on. Put that down. Sorry. Squishy tires. It's Ooh. got on road tires. They look super realistic. They're Dunlap or Dunlop, so they're actually here, let it down. Look at the differential and everything. That is so detailed. You can see like the catalytic converter and the exhaust. That's so cool. You can see the bottom of the gas tank. This is a legit scale vehicle. Look at that. That is so cool. I love that it's so realistic looking. And there's mm -hmm. gonna be oh, there might even be a light on the chimney. That is so cool. And that is a spare. Grab the spare tire. Ooh, awesome. That is cool. And the door's Super open detailed. too. Yep. That is heavy. Wow. It is. It is really for a heavy. For 1 scale, okay, it so is really heavy. Let's, let's look for the battery quick. Okay, this says peel off. So let's look and see. Oh, that is so cool. There's air handlers and everything. I got to turn the light on to see under the hood. There is the battery. There's mm -hmm. the battery. How the heck do we get that yeah, out? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, oh, there's a stick. Put the stick up. Oh, there is. That's so cool. Oh, it does come up. That is so cool. I mean, it's kind of like going to get broke. Or is that metal? Um, I no, I think it's plastic. That is very cool. Okay, so how the heck are we going to get the battery out of there? I don't know. That's Does the whole top open? There's a power switch there, about. too. Here, you're the expert at finding where things go. Oh, boy. Um, all right, so that is the battery. Uh, looks like the air handler is probably going to pop out. Like this is just a clip to hold it in, almost certainly. Or maybe just kind of pull it out of the way. Oh, yeah, just comes out. See, it sits, it sits just in there, kind of loose almost. Oh, that thing slides onto that thing, just like that. And then this thing snaps around like that. To hold the battery. So the air handler pops out like this. And then you've got a cavity here, mm -hmm. and then you've got a clip here. Mm. See, there's a little relief. That relief goes on this bump, which you can barely make out. 
See that little bump? Mm -hmm. That detent receives that bump. And this is sort of flexible, which is super cool. One thing that's bad about some of these cars is that the kids get to play with them and they break stuff. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing, like with these folding mirrors, super cool detail, gonna get broke immediately. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. Let's get the battery plugged in. Yeah, let's get the battery plugged in. Okay, so this is a 2S, 380 milliamp hour LiPo. It's very small. It's very small. But we have noticed that it is amazing the flight times you get. When you're used to a plane? Flight times. Yeah, when you're used to planes, <laughs> See, these like we are. times are tremendous. I mean, we yeah. have like 30 minute drive times on some of these vehicles. We've the been kids getting. will be out driving for a half an hour, 45 minutes, and they come in and the battery is at like 70%. Yeah. It's so this does come with a charger. This is a lithium polymer pack, so it's a LiPo. Uh, LiPos you want to charge with, see how there's three wires there? If you're not familiar with that, that means that there's actually one cell in series, uh, one cell and then another cell that's hooked up in series, and that's why you have two plugs. You're like, why are there two plugs, Brian? This is called the discharge lead, and this is called the balance lead. So we're just going to use a run-of-the-mill uh, USB plug, and then this charger will do the balancing through the balance plug. So this balance plug is keyed, so you can't plug it in the wrong way. I mean, you, you could probably force it in there the wrong way, but you'd have to work at it, okay? And ordinarily, I wouldn't plug it in just like that. Okay, there's a green flashing light here. How about we try that again? I'll just show you again. So it starts flashing. Mm -hmm. Very easy to see what's going on. Now, if you don't already have one of these tools, this is an XBC 100 battery checker, which we use obviously for a lot of our aircraft stuff. And we do aircraft here on Brian Phillips RC. As you can see from behind me, that's just a couple of them. But what you can do is you can take this thing, plug it in and it will tell you the voltage. Now there's cheaper ways to do it, but this is a super nice tool because yeah. it's also a battery tester as well as a servo checker. So you can see it's uh, pretty close to balance. It's about 30% on there. Now this battery charger is gonna charge it in the course of a period of time, probably about an hour, I'm guessing. So what mm -hmm. we're going to do is we're just gonna show you what we do when we charge our batteries and we wanna get them done quick. We come over to our S2200, which of course is a, a Horizon product, so you can buy that when you're buying your uh, Jimny. This is an expensive charger. If you get airplanes, you need different plugs. And uh, so they come equipped and then the balance lead. But then look, I have an adapter I've built that has these Molex connectors and they're in parallel. So you can actually charge a few in parallel. I'm just gonna charge one and then a little EC3 adapter to an XT60. So we have a lot of different types of adapters uh, that you will accumulate over the years. You can see one bag of them right there. <laughs> and then, so that goes in the, the discharge lead, okay? Then this discharge lead, actually plugs in to the charger here and you'll note that the voltage comes up 7.6 and then i'm going to plug in the balance lead now since this isn't a smart battery you have to go ahead and tell it what it's going to charge at it's already set to one amp this is actually a 380 milliamp hour so if we were charging at one amp you'd be charging at almost 3c because 3c would be 380 times three that would be you know, let's just call it one amp, okay? So now this is a 5C battery. And what that means is it's designed for a slower discharge. So if you charge at 3C and it's a 5C pack, that's sort of a strange thing. So we're gonna talk about that for just two seconds. It is unusual, highly unusual, because these batteries, for instance, are 30C. 30C speaks to the discharge, how fast you consume the power, and then the charge rate, which is also called the C rate, speaks to how fast you can charge it. So how fast you can charge or discharge are two different numbers. Sorry, <laughs> very confusing. So anyway, I'm gonna actually not charge it that quick. That's a little bit too fast. So I'm gonna scroll down to, we'll do it at about two times. So 0.7 amps and then hit start. Okay, so now it's gonna charge. It's just gonna do it a lot quicker because there is of course gonna be more power here. This is a 200 watt charger for one channel and a 200 watt charge charger for the other channel. Mm -hmm. Whereas this thing might only be, I don't know, 10 watts or something. It's got four, uh, 7.4 volts at uh, 1000 milliamp hours or milliamps. So basically that'd be, you know, like 75 watts or somewhere in there. Yep. Do the math, look up Ohm's law if you're curious. That's why 
you come to Brian Phillips RC, we'll help teach you something once in a while. Um, obviously, we know a lot about the hobby, but we're not super experts on ground vehicles. I did this as a kid. Um, so we're gonna get back to this. Cam crew wants to peel I do wanna peel stickers. all of the plastic off of this. Okay. So let's do that. Now is that inside. on the inside or the outside? That's what I'm just trying to figure out. Maybe it's on the inside. Kind of feels like it's not on the inside. Open the door. Do you have to pull the handle? Do you? I don't know. How do you open it? How do you open them? Or does the top come off? Mm, I don't know. Does it slide? How does this thing work? We might have to read the directions. No, oh. we're not doing that. Oh, look, what? good thinking, FMS. I know. First I thing that. to break otherwise. Are these metal hinges on the back? Look at that. They look like metal hinges. Okay, here. So I'm gonna try pushing on this and see if it opens. Nope. I'm gonna try pulling, nope. I'm gonna try pulling up on the handle, nope. Well, how the heck do you do it? That doesn't look like that door opens, but I think it does, it totally does. Okay, so to the instruction manual we go. By the way, FMS does a good job of instruction manuals with the airplanes and with cars. So if you're needing parts and things like that, look through the instruction manual, receiver. This is a breakdown of the electronics. Okay, it talks about the different light conditions, which is sweet. What's this? Oh, that's just like a, basically it's a, a certificate of RF allowance from the FCC. Connect the battery. Oh, this is the one. That's you need to read that. For. They don't Maybe tell it you. Doesn't. Maybe they don't open. Really? Well, I then would... how do you get the plastic off? There's got to be a way to do this. You, you got to be able to lift the whole thing off. Because I can't imagine them making you take it apart to that extent. I think they do open probably, but there's probably a way to release. These like come off, it looks like. Well, you can always take the whole thing off. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, you just didn't get the edge. You just have to find the edge. I think that the edge is just, it's just tucked down really tight. Yeah, it's just, it's just really in there. Yeah, see? And by the way, look at the seats cool. and everything. That is amazing. There's so much detail inside of there. You can even see the, the shifter knob and everything. So yeah, so basically we just have to find an edge mm -hmm. and then they will peel. Now, if you wanna keep them in pristine condition, you can leave these on. But my recommendation is just, just destroy it. it. Yeah. Don't, don't try to save everything and make it look brand new because you will enjoy it so much more as you get it out there and actually drive the thing and have fun with it. I mean, obviously some of these things are super expensive. And so you may want to keep one museum piece so you can keep it on display. But the thing is, I, you got to enjoy some of these things because they're, you know, it's, that is so hard to take off of there. I want to try one other trick that I've used in other times. The other way I've found that works really nice to peel these off is I'll grab some tape like this. Mm. And we'll just take that tape, peel off a little bit. Make sure we grab a window that's actually coming off and we'll just throw it like this and then stick it down. Actually try to stick it. Oh, there goes the door. I, yeah, see, there got it. it. Yep. It's hard to even tell it's there, but then I felt like that door this was going to open. This right there. Oh, that you got it? Off. Yep. Okay, cool. But yeah, if you just double back the tape, then it'll give you something to hang on to. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. There it is. Those that's are really trick. hard to get off of there. Um, and some of the manufacturers will give you a tail like this to be able to use. And that feels like so metal-ish, but it's actually not metal, it's plastic. Um, and I think the mirrors are gonna fold out of the way when we get into collisions. And make no mistake, you will get into collisions. Mm -hmm. um, if you plan on never having a collision with your radio-controlled cars, um, you're more likely to have a collision with your radio-controlled car than you are with your real one, that's for sure. Yes, especially okay. if your kids play with it. Also, look at the suspension. Amazing, everything looks so super hyper-realistic. You can even see the brake discs in there. That is so cool, there actually is a caliper in there. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Cool. God, I love all these details. Now, I, I doubt they do anything, the brakes, but still just so cool. And that just falls down there, right? It mm -hmm. didn't go up. Oh wait, it does, no, it, it does up go up front. Side. Yeah, it's kind of hard to manipulate the, the angle though. So be careful you don't break that. It does snap into that retainer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously 
This thing looks awesome. These doors totally open, hon. Yeah. Look. They do. You just have to like pull it. See? You just have to pull it. Look at that. That is so cool. The chair was pushed forward. That's how I could tell. The chair, I Amazing. think the chair moves because you can put a guy you in there. You can even see information on the instrument cluster. That is so amazing. And then how the heck does this one open? I'm just gonna grab an edge with my fingernail. Oh yeah, that is so cool. You can fold the seats down. It's like nicer than my car. Oh man, we need to get a little <laughs> radio controlled airplane to put in there. That is amazing. I'm loving that. Guys, I'm a sucker for scale details. Yeah. And the thing is these, I don't know, does this qualify as a crawler still? I think it does. I don't guess we're gonna find out here in a couple minutes. Right, and look at the, our voltages real quick. We'll show the people at home what that looks like. We're up to about 77%. And if we go down to this screen, we can see where we are. So 4.0 is good enough. We're not gonna film the entire drive anyway. Mm -hmm. So if you ever wanna stop one of these, all you have to do is just, is it already started? I know I already started it. It must've stopped. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna unplug this and we're gonna go into it and go ahead and drive it now. So let's see how this hooks up. Oh man, that sunset is absolutely gorgeous. I know. We gotta pause for a second and show that. So when we when we do our flying videos, we're always flying and driving. Uh, we're flying at sunset because it calms down, but the wind is still pretty strong tonight and that's why we decided to do a car tonight. So if you look here, there's a red and a white, which is probably a less than desirable choice of colors in my opinion for a discharge lead because it's sort of ambiguous as to which one's positive and which one's negative. But in this case, I'm comfortable with that. Now there is a power switch here. Oh, so amazing. Did you see those lights yeah. come on? Okay, so now I'm gonna just take this and roll this up in here. Now, full disclosure, guys, you know we didn't get a full charge on that. So we don't want you to hold it against the car because when you don't get a full charge, you may not get a full run. See this right there? That's where that goes. It slides over that little black thing and then that snaps in and that holds your battery right where it belongs. Then that gets closed. Cool. Okay, so, oh, that is so cool. So the lights aren't actually on. You have to command them to be turned on. So, all right, when I give it, oh, that is so sweet. Look how slow you can drive it if you want. Quiet. Amazing. Oh, that is oh. so sweet. Oh, turn signals. Okay, so now let's show them the front. Okay, now there is definitely a button here somewhere. So I'm gonna just show you the buttons. There's channel four. Oh, so oh. cool. So you got high beams. Oh, you've got your four ways. You've got just your fog lights. You've got off. So low beams, high beams, four ways, high beams, and off-road lights. And then let's see if we can run over this. Ah, oh, dang it, we can't. Oh, and you have the four ways on the side marker. So cool. You got all the lights on the back. Now you got more lights. That is just amazing. Okay, full speed test real quick. Amazing. One backup light right here. Definitely four wheel drive. As you can see, it's trying to go. It's trying to go, so we have no problems there. Amazing guys, just love this. Okay, so channel three, I'm not sure. Whoa, that did something. Something changed. What does it do? Whoa, low gear. gear. That is so cool. cool. So there's actually two gears on this thing too. So I'm in low gear, which means you're gonna have better for crawling. And then when you switch it to this gear, then you're in the high gear. So it's way faster. And there is a mechanical action. Make no mistake, guys. Watch this. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. There's a servo right there. It is changing something in the gearbox. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> guys, I had no idea how amazing that was going to be. I mean, that is so beautiful. And I've totally stolen the thunder here. So I got to trade <laughs> you back. I haven't even driven it yet. Okay, so you ready? So cool. Yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, so I think, I think that this plane, and when I say plane, I mean car, <laughs> is gonna be super fun to drive. I can't wait to get out and try it because the sun is setting. Okay, so 
We love the way that this thing looks. And we are gonna take it outside and drive it right now. Yes. Because our sun is setting. And so hopefully you guys really like this thing. And we're gonna be doing a few more ground vehicles. We're gonna try to keep it to like a once a week sort of thing. Yep, hopefully. But uh, we appreciate you guys watching and please don't forget to like the video. If you want to see content and be notified about it, click the bell for notifications and then obviously come back. There's so much more to come here on Brian Phillips RC. Thanks for watching.